Hi and welcome back to the Migro YouTube channel. My name is Shane, the founder of Migro. Uh, we just asked out in our last couple of videos about any grow lights that people were interested in us doing and testing. And it was interesting that people came back with a few recommendations for grow lights, which have all the information available online, all the power information that you'd need to assess the light and how good it is. And uh, it just sort of struck me that it might be useful to do a little sort of workshop video on how to assess the uh, these data sheets and make sense of the numbers and to be able to compare different grow lights that sort of thing so we've looked at um, the, the recently the optic 2 and the Mars 48 and the way we choose to uh, compare these lights is to show you the power output over a grow area so to look at what the, the coverage of it is and we do that by looking at uh, how low do you need to hang the light in order that you get up around the average of around five or six hundred ppft across this target grow area and uh, the reason we do that is because for flowering really you need an average of about 600 ppft of course if your grow light has a center hotspot that means you're going to have a higher level in the middle than on the outside edges so generally, if we don't have a manufacturer's recommendation, um, we would lower the grow light until it's about a thousand ppft in the dead center at the highest point and let it graduate out from that. If not, we tend to use the manufacturer's recommendations with the lowest hanging height. Uh, the reason being that it's going to give those guys the, the, the best, the fairest chance. It's going to be the highest efficiency number, um, which is the one we use. Um, when we quote the Migro um, specification, so it's only fair that uh, you know we would compare other lights uh, with our own uh, in a fair manner. The other thing we do is we tend to locate them in a uh, a grow tent, which is normal environment for a, for a grow light, and so there's reflective walls. We use reflective walls in our tests. So, um, you know, just be careful for that when you're, when you're looking at it. We're going to look at a few examples and uh, one of them specifies that it's reflective walls and the other one specifies that it doesn't. You'll notice that there's a little bit of a difference. You're going to lose some light where there's not reflective walls. Um, so let's get going. Let's have a look at these, these uh, examples. So the light that was requested to be looked at a few times was the Black Dog Phytomax 2 200. Um, and I've had a look on the website and I've had a look elsewhere and there's a couple of places you can see the um, the test output from this light but it's all there in the website it's all there there on their website and, and I just wanted to show you how you can um, interpret that so this is the light here hopefully you can it focuses in on that okay so it's the black dog Phytomax 2 200 this is the website uh, data sheet and here actually I've blown it up so you can see it a bit clearer here is the spec sheet for the light itself and you'll see what you might be able to see here in the 65 by 65 centimeters that's just over two foot by two foot the average uh, PPFD is 653 and that's at a hanging height of 41 centimeters, which is what, about uh, 16 inches. So we're gonna go with that measurement uh, and uh, we're going to calculate the total PPFD output from this light and what the efficiency for the fixture is. So we start off, we have the grow area. So 0 0.65 by 0 0.65 six five excuse me equals zero point four two meters squared and over that area by the way this is at forty one centimeters so uh, for that area it's a six hundred and fifty three p p f d average now this 653 PPFT average, the 653 units are par impacting on an area of one meter squared. So if it was one meter squared, 
If you're measuring 6 foot 53 on average across a whole 1 meter squared, your total power output would be 653. In this case though, it's averaging 653 over 0.42 meters squared. So to get the total PPFD output, we just multiply the two together. So 653 by 0 0.42 is, just calculate it here, 276 ppfd and then we can divide the 276 over the 210 watts and the result is 270 6 divided by 210 is 1.31 ppfd per watt. And that's a, a really, really useful figure because a bit like, say, miles per gallon or kilometers per liter for cars, it's a measure that you can compare different um, products with. So it doesn't matter about what size the light is, uh, what type of spectrum it's, it has, um, it is going to uh, be a measurement that you can compare them equally. So uh, just a few little kind of caveats and, and, uh, about this. If you get a power map which has the area, the grow area divided into equal squares, and the center of those equal squares you get a measurement so optic um, do this they have uh, very good power maps on their website you can add up all of those individual squares the numbers in the squares and divide them by the total number to give you your average for that grow area so that's another way of, of finding out this this ppfd average but don't use a center point measurement because the center point measurement will always be highest and you'll be multiplying the highest reading in the grow area rather than the average. So just be careful with that. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, hopefully that has, has made some sense to you. If there are other uh, data sheets or power maps out there that you'd like some help with to try and understand, please give me a shout. Uh, stick them in the comments below and we will try to do you know either another video or our answer, answer them in the comments and put some links in. Um, there's some very good websites that uh, describe this better than I can. So monstergardens.com do, do an excellent um, test lab it's called and it's a series of uh, videos that are very long and extensive but uh, well worth watching if you can uh, spare the time. And they go through a lot of different um, lights too, and they show you the output from different grow lights in a very detailed way. Uh, they choose not to use reflective walls. Um, so generally their PPFD figures will probably be a bit lower than, than we, what we put on the MyGrow website. But it's a very useful frame of reference. Uh, so other, other requests there for next light, I remember. On the videos, some viewer um, commented on that. You can get them from the website. Uh, Valoya's, uh, lots of HID gear they've tested. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an excellent source. So the, the link to the Monster Gardens um, YouTube channel is in, in the description below. Uh, there's a couple of other people. Um, Callie Green has started to come out with videos. Doesn't do quite the same as here, but we'll show a par chart. It uh, doesn't do it in, 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 in to get the average, um, but it does some very useful uh, power tests as well. And if I can think of any other ones, I'll stick them in the description below. So, Thanks for watching. As I said, if you have any queries, suggestions, criticism, whatever, just uh, make them in the comments below and uh, talk to you soon. Take care.